Let's start at the G20 summit in Argentina. South Korean President Moon Jae-in and U.S. President Donald Trump have held talks on the sideline of the summit. North Korea dominated most of their discussion. Shin Se-min has our top story. The leaders of South Korea and the United States in tune on North Korea. Presidents Moon Jae-in and Donald Trump sat down on the sidelines of the G20 summit in Argentina on Friday for a frank discussion with just their translators in attendance. They vowed to align their policies to ensure the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula remains on track. President Trump, while affirming his commitment to hold a second North Korea-U.S. summit early next year, asked that South Korea and the U.S. maintain close cooperation, so the summit will be another historic milestone in the process of denuclearizing North Korea. President Moon's chief press secretary explained that President Trump reaffirmed his pledge to hold a second summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and noted that Kim's planned reciprocal visit to Seoul may create new momentum in efforts to denuclearize Pyongyang and establish peace in the region. Although the two did not go into details on when Kim might travel to the south, it's viewed that Kim's visit would help the ongoing push for peace. The Blue House official said the question now is on whether the North Korean leader sticks to his pledge. On North Korea sanctions, Presidents Moon and Trump agreed that keeping the regime under already imposed sanctions is necessary until the Korean peninsula is completely denuclearized. While the two allies share the goal of complete denuclearization, their approach on how to achieve it isn't in lockstep. Seoul has been pushing to improve ties with Pyongyang through economic engagement, while Washington has been pursuing a dual policy of pressure and dialogue, which has caused friction between the North and the U.S. The meeting between President Boon and Trump was a chance to reopen the possibility of Kim Jong-un's visit to Seoul by year's end, in the hope that it could give the stalled denuclearization process another push. Shin Se-min, Arirang News, Buenos Aires.